So let's write a new layer for the business logic. I will use the awesome Redux Saga middleware for Redux to connect the button clicked with the increase action. And the Redux Saga middleware uh, exposes a create Saga middleware uh, function when we import Redux Saga npm package. And of course, I have to add where here. And now we can get a new Saga instance from the create Saga middleware function. And we will add this middleware to our application store. And we do this with the apply middleware function that Redux gives us. And we will just pass Saga in here. And of course, we have to import the apply middleware function from Redux. So let's do that. And now we have connected the middleware to Redux. So let's connect our increased action to our button clicked action. And I will write an on click increase JavaScript generate generator that will do the job for us. In case you don't know what a generator function is, I will add a link to the video description. I really much like how Redux Saga works, because it is very declarative and lets us state how things should happen rather than what should happen. So we write take and then add the name of the event the Saga should react on. In this case, it is button clicked. And generator functions work by yielding results, so we yield the take button clicked. If we encounter a button clicked event, we want to dispatch an increase action. And put is the way that Saga dispatches action to the Redux store. So let's dispatch an increase action. We still have a small error here, because the generator has only two steps. The first step is to yield take. The Saga middleware will wait until a button clicked event appears and will then step to the next step in the generator chain. The next step is a put. So if it encounters a button clicked event, it will put an increase event to the store. But then the generator is empty and the Saga middleware will terminate it. So what we have to do is, as soon as we have dispatched a type increase action, we need to re-listen to the next button clicked event. And we can do that by just looping the take button clicked indefinitely. So as soon as we have added the imports for take and put, this should do the trick and we should see increase actions if a button clicked event appears. So let's first add take and put to the imports. And then run the Saga after the store. We can define what Saga should be run by using the Saga.run function and specify the generators that should be run in the Saga. So in this case, we will just add the on click increase generator. Let's hop over to the browser and see what happens. So if I now click the button, two things should happen. The first thing is the button click event should be issued. And the second is on reaction to the button clicked, we should see an increase action. And exactly that happens. And because we loop the button clicked event and still have the take on the button clicked, um, the generator is now waiting for the next button clicked event. And if we click the button again, again, the Saga dispatches an increase action and our state diff down there says that we have updated the state. And we can also see it on the text of the button. So every time I click the button, a new increase action 
is dispatched.